Most of us know about the samurai and the ninja, but they weren't the only badass warriors roaming around feudal Japan. In this video, I will count down 6 different classes that have been active in Japan from the 12th to the beginning of the 17th century. Here are 6 warrior classes of feudal Japan. Number 1. Samurai Let's start with the basics. The samurai were the well-paid military nobility sponsored by the great feudal landholders, the daimyos. They engaged in countless battles adhering to the Bushido codes, feeling no pain, being loyal beyond any doubt, the true martial virtuosos. They had a pretty prestigious loadout, often carrying the daisho, a set of two swords, a big one and a smaller one, into battle. They also had this very handy thing called Kirisude Gomen, or the right to strike, which was basically a license to kill commoners should the occasion ask that of them. Number 2. Ninja The ninja, or shinobi, were super cool elite covered ops mercenaries providing a wide range of services. They included everything from espionage or recon all the way to ambushes, bodyguarding, deceptions and assassinations. They were martial arts and edged weapons specialists and also masters of ninjutsu, the art focused on guerrilla warfare. Over time, the shinobi name passed into legend, with people often telling tales which included them being able to control the elements, walk on water or even turn invisible. Number 3. Ronin A ronin, a wanderer, was a rogue samurai who lost his master. According to the Bushido, a samurai should commit seppuku, taking his life upon losing his master, and the ones choosing not to were branded undesirable and discriminated by the daimyos. There is a famous historical event called the Akko Incident, in which 47 ronin have avenged the death of their master. The event is considered as legendary in Japanese history. Number 4. Iko Iki the Iko Iki were rebels, groups of people autonomously formed in certain regions and supported by the influence of the Jodo Shinshu cult of Buddhism. They resisted the influence and rule of daimyos. Local lords, peasants, priests and even merchants were mostly what their ranks consisted of. Even though they were mainly armed with naginatas, their later 17th century arsenal included the arquebus. Number 5. Sohei the Sohei, or the monk soldiers, were the great Buddhist warriors who originally operated in the classical period as well, and their job was to protect the land. They belonged to the Tendai Lotus school, so their duty also included intimidation of other schools and spreading their way of Buddhism which was especially noticeable in the Kamakura period. They never operated individually, but rather as a part of a larger brotherhood, mainly armed with naginatas. Number 6. Ashigaru The Ashigaru were foot soldiers, infantry employed by the samurai starting from the 14th century, popularized during the Ashikaga shogunate. They wore armors with jingasas and were respectfully armed with tanegashimas. There you have it, now you know a great deal more about other classes too. They all played big roles in Japanese history and will never be forgotten. Thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for more. Also, if you want, you can now join our Discord server, I'll be putting the link in the description below. And to finish up with a joke, how do you wake a ninja? You don't, it's a decoy and your throat is now cut.